Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We are due for an Eve run. This is where things start to get a little shaky, but it would go a long way. Not that like any character is necessarily 100% guaranteed to be easier, except for Azazel, usually. 2-3 SMCBWA. I hope nobody had the misfortune of playing through the last seed with me. Although, you know what would- I thought about it, because, you know, it was like my white whale. We won, but it was a fucking annoying run. I've had losses that I would rather wish on my friends than that win that I wouldn't even wish on my enemies. But anyway, um... I, uh, I realized that if I had not taken so much damage on the first couple of floors, maybe we take Sacrificial Dagger instead of leaving it, and maybe as a result of that, it just becomes a much, much smoother run. You never know what kind of stuff we could have picked up in that deal with the, uh, Devil if we had that precedent instead of deal with the Angel. Mind you, we got a pretty nice assortment of items from both, but man, for a while that run was just goddamn heinous. So my hope is that we uh, end up finding ourselves in a good enough position here to maybe hurt ourselves. I don't want to do it yet. Um, if we find ourselves in a position where we can hurt ourselves in order to enter the Horror of Babylon state. And maybe pick up a Spirit Heart to go along with it. Now mind you, the Spirit Heart is not looking that likely to show up unless it's just a random drop, which can happen, but is unlikely. Right now we have zero bombs. Uh, you know, Luxstat not really holding too much together for us here. The penny is a start, but it's a long way to go. There's two Tinted Rocks available. Decent chance we get a bomb item in here, but how about just giving me Mom's Knife? Alright, Leech. Is actually kind of bad for us, I think, now that I've picked it up and given it a second thought. Here's how it works in my brain. Should we pick up Leech? Yeah, why not? It's passive. And then immediately I'm like, oh shit. Why is it bad? It's gonna be hard for us to manage our HP and ensure that we stay in our Horror of Babylon state. That's that's the thing that makes it not so good. Whether or not it's bad is debatable. It would be great for us if we could get to a uh, permanent spirit heart state, or if we could get ourselves to the position where we don't have any empty heart containers. Apart from that, uh, it, it could be a little dubious, but I do like the fact that it does, you know, it's, it's like a shittier third level Meat Boy or Bandage Girl or something like that. Not fighting Famine on the first floor. Something must be wrong. Are you feeling okay, game? For the past, like, uh, six runs, it's been Famine Fistula, Famine Fistula. I'm happy to have the opportunity to kind of reverse that formula, but... At the same time, uh, that does put a, a bit of a dent in our cube of meat dreams, potentially. Come on, Squeezy. Give me Squeezy. Meat. Meat is like the opposite of Squeezy. Well, no, it doesn't really make any sense at all, but... I guess we're gonna have to do this without uh, the benefit of being in our Horror Babylon state. That's okay. It's been done before. <laughs> hey, there's actually a uh, Tinted Rock over there. I thought about maybe taking some time and trying to make uh, the bomb spider explode there, but the odds of that happening are so, so low. Leech, leech, activate. This is, oh, exactly what I was just about to say. I was like, this is one of the very few rooms where I would actually love to have leech be active right away. This is how things go terribly wrong on an EVE run. Not having the opportunity to trade any HP away. What the fuck is wrong with you? Leech. Dead bird, get in there! That's your, you got one job! I apologize for getting ornery, but I'm, I'm sensing a repeat of last run and I don't want to do it. I'm mad as hell and I can't take it anymore. You've got one thing to do. There's two enemies on the screen. Go find them. Take them out. They're right there in that corner. You're like... You're so close to them that they can spit a spider directly into my face. This item room. Oh, this item room had better be good. That's all I can say. Okay, again, if we could get maybe a single bomb, that would be nice. I'm being quite ornery as of right now. I apologize for my orneriness. At the same time, I think you can you can understand it to some extent. But the one of the most important things is just not tilting. You don't tilt right off the bat, it's fine. We've already thrown some of our chance of getting a, a deal with the devil. Much of our chance of getting a deal with the devil, in fact. But our HP is good. It's going to be very hard to kill us with um, with Leech being active as much as possible. See? We even got some more HP on the ground there. I'm not going to go to any of these rooms. The item room is going to be our number one priority. Boss Rush still on the table. The fact that we have not yet encountered a, uh, a bomb, and yet we've found... Four or maybe even five Tinted Rocks at this point is unreasonable, but hey. Speed plus range upgrade. We got another key. That key could allow us to go to our shop, but what I'm uh, intending to do with it is take it to 
a library if we had one. I guess we wouldn't know if it was a library or a shop until we were already in there, but... Hey, if we had some bombs, maybe we could use a secret room to bomb our way into one of them, and then give ourselves a chance, but... No, no bombs. Shouldn't be that sad about it, but... I am feeling a little indignant. Let's just have all the chips fall in our way for once. That was one time where strange, uh, chocolate actually got me trapped in there. Anyway, we've taken enough red heart damage here to do something that you could only do if you've taken a lot of red heart damage. Let's move along. For five cents, we could buy a spirit heart or a bomb. I think we're better off buying a bomb, because we can get a lot of consumables back with one bomb. Yeah, and there's not even a spirit heart for sale. Oh, I would love to be able to get black, or sorry, blue candle here. If I could get blue candle, I wouldn't have to worry about my damage anymore. Bible tracts? Kind of surprised we didn't get hit there, but I guess I'll take Bible tracts. Shit, let's do it. I had a feeling this might be the case. Now, that we shouldn't die here, but the only way for us to get a deal with the devil is not to get hit. That's not super likely. Do as much damage to these guys as you can, then hope that Leech kind of picks up the slack. Oh. 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 Okay. Leech, I've got to get you aggroed up here. There you go. Okay, that's good stuff. Get Leech to do some damage. We're going to do some damage ourselves just to speed up the process here. And it's relatively easy to avoid taking damage against this phase of the haunt. Once you've uh, kind of got it down. Just whenever it... It's hard to explain. You know, I'm not a very good teacher when it comes to stuff like this. Whenever it feels right, get out of the way. I guess, it, you know, just experience makes it feel right or wrong. It's true for many things in life. Okay. You know what? We didn't get a deal with the devil. But I can't be too mad about it, because we got pretty lucky just to find ourselves with a damage upgrade for beating the boss. Hopefully we'll get a deal with the devil on this floor. Curse of the Blind makes that a little bit more dubious, but... Hey. The damage upgrade from Synth Oil is okay. All's, not all is forgiven, but, you know, the wounds are starting to be healed here. But, yes, third floor behind the 8-ball from a damage perspective is a very dangerous, dangerous place to be. Can't really justify that. Leech has been better than I gave it credit for originally, and I appreciate it. I would welcome, like, <laughs> like two health down pills. That's that's how desperate I am to get this damage here. But we need to have a spirit heart to, to kind of pull the whole thing together first. We even got a bomb there. Now, notice, out of all the tinted rocks on the last floor, we chose to open probably the only one that didn't have any spirit hearts in it to begin with. But so be it. We also got a damage up for upgrade from beating the boss, so I'm pretty sure that, like, my complaining is gonna fall on deaf ears. I don't like being negative two runs in a row, you know? I'm, I'm not a negative person. I'm a very positive person for the most part, and I would love to be positive in this run. I mean, we've won five in a row. It's a start, right? But in order to be positive, it would go a long way if I could just uh, not take red heart damage on this floor, give myself the best chance possible of getting a deal with the devil. And now I'm, I'm complaining about bullshit that I should not be complaining about. Look at all these big rooms, though, man. Can we have some small rooms? What's up with all these big rooms? Oh, no. I threw it. I threw it. Okay. That's all right. These are the runs that separate the, the mice from the men. No offense if you're a mouse. Or a lady. That's just the way the expression is. I didn't make it. Let's try here. Maybe a second secret room? Unlikely. Usually those are closer to the boss, but worst case scenario, that was a bomb for a key trade anyway. Okay, you need to get in there, Leech. You stand on the outside looking in for too long. Makes it very difficult for me to avoid taking damage, like in that situation, for example. Still got a chance to get a deal with the devil, but I wouldn't bank on it, so... You know, whenever we lose our deal with the devil chance, Joker, two of spades. Still pretty good. Whenever we lose our deal with the devil chance, it's really up to our item room to pick up the slack. And it's on us that I keep taking red heart damage, but uh, the longer the game goes on, the less on us that actually becomes. You know, the more we have to kind of get lucky to make it happen instead of assuming that it's the default situation. Yeah, it's all right. The red heart damage doesn't matter anymore. Okay, it's a good time to discover it. Fool card, great for boss rush. Let's be honest, that's a bit of a pipe dream right now. Mom's wig, it's a good item. Should have used uh, two of spades, but I feel like the best time to use two of spades is when you're over uh, three. Because if you use it when you're at two, 
That's four keys. But you could get four keys just by spending the two and then using it right at the end anyway. So it seems to make sense for me to use it a little later. Are we going to go for the, the quote-unquote, you know, Hail Mary pass here? Are we going to throw away um, our key and a little bit of money in order to pick up potentially a Spirit Heart? What a weird champion there. I think I'm going to, yes. I know my key logic, hopefully you follow. There's no Spirit Heart. Mom's purse. It's okay. It's an okay uh, option here. Again, with two of spades, I think until you get over three keys, you shouldn't even use it. It's it's the kind of bullshit that, you know, I don't really get into when it comes to Isaac. I, I play by feel for the most part, but, you know, it was interesting to think of, like, the, the applications of two of spades, you know, and theorycraft a little bit. When is it most useful to use? Mostly I did that because people would be like, oh, you opened a door without using two of spades. You wasted your opportunity. I still think mathematically the only time you waste it is if you use it before you have three keys available. If you use it after three keys, you've gotten at least some value out of it. Three keys or after, I should say. Okay. Yeah, we can still get three bombs for one here. What is up with these no spirit heart bullshit situations here? Are you seeing this? Every opportunity we have to get a... Uh, a spirit heart is thwarted, and then we end up fighting Gertie Jr. in a situation where we can't take damage. So bombs are going to be useless here. We really only have our own wits. It's all right. It's going to be like six or seven waves of um, of dodging here. I fucking hate Gertie Jr. That one was like it was quicker than I expected. So no deal with the devil again. We got dessert. Again, another floor where we've basically not improved ourselves at all. This can't continue. We will we will fall apart sooner rather than later. Reroll the whole run. Reroll the whole run. Okay, well, two keys for a golden key is actually a very interesting kind of trade. This floor is the be all end all. Remember at two keys you break even. You could either get four keys or you could uh, use two keys, use two of spades, get two keys. That's four keys. But now, this is a better situation because we're still holding two of spades and we can use it later. This can still turn around. Eve is one of the characters who can, you know, do a 180 as quickly as possible as a result of the, like, the binary state switch between uh, Whore of Babylon and non-Whore of Babylon. Which, which is a very striking amount of damage difference. Don't throw. This is an extremely important one. Didn't think we'd find a second secret room. That's all right. Just get to that shop or find a tinted rock. Get a spirit heart right away. Mom's wig is actually proving to be very helpful. Imagine how helpful it would be if we were actually doing any tier damage at all. The answer is probably a little bit more helpful. All of the above. No spirit hearts. This room scares me a little bit. Leech, don't get too cocky. Whoa, okay. We made it through. I think we gotta... Why did I come to this room first? We should've just fought the boss. Don't fuck around with a good thing. Okay. We got some space to maneuver now. Good. Mom's wig, you sacrificed yourself in a way that I wish you hadn't, but it's alright. Are we just going to fight the boss like this? I mean, we do, like, no damage, but I guess we have six bombs. Depends what boss we fight. We could find ourselves in a pretty good position. I think this is our best chance of getting a deal with the devil. We almost blew it on this room. Let's just... Let's let's put it all on the line here. Actually, let's give some money to Judgment first to maybe pick up one more item before we go in. I believe in you, Judgment. Give me a Spirit Heart. Then give me, like, Compass or something. Okay, well, I mean, we weren't really at much, much risk of overall death anyway, but I appreciate it. It's a thought that counts. Sure, you gotta give me something. It's in the rules somewhere. Wow. Okay, well, if there's any boss that you can do it on, it would be the hollow. I think we might be in the clear. Now, don't fuck it up. Just a good deal with the angel, or devil. Devil, I said devil. Pageant boy. There's a nickel in it, so I can't complain too hard. Oh, you absolute asshole. 
Admittedly, still good. We will get either uh, a damage upgrade or a decent spacebar item. Either of which would make a decent addition to our run right now. Kind of wished it was Lump of Coal, but whatever. Now we at least have some, you know, upside to our run here. We've already given you over 15 cents, so you, it better be something good. That's all I'm saying. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. I've given you like 20 cents at this point. Well, we are on um, Catacombs 2. There could have been an arcade. If there's an arcade here. You know what? That was not necessary, but I did it. Wow. This is the mini boss floor, huh? I guess I should have uh, not taken red heart damage on the last floor. Two of clubs. Pop that right away. How much money do I have to give you in order to make you pay out, Judgment? Because now I've invested too much. There's a sunk cost, man. I still want to go to our, our shops, but you're not making it easy here. If I find a blood bank, I'm coming back for you. And I'm going to be gunning for blood, bitch. You think you're fucking hilarious. You're not. You're not hilarious. Well, let's focus on the positives. Krampus' head means that if we ever find ourselves in that position again, where we need to not take red hard damage against a boss in order to get a deal with the devil, we got a pretty good chance of it. Provided we have a charge of it. Which might be debatable, or unlikely, because I'm, uh... Out of frustration, using Krampus' head more often... Well, I've already... I've only used it once, but, um... I'm using Krampus' head probably a little bit more often than I should. Because I'm not doing any damage of my own. Oh, yeah. That was... Got me in the snow blindness there. Come on. Come on. Run. Be kind. I am... I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break. The D10. What is this? I can't justify that. There's a lot of ways in which I think I... Well, you know what? I can justify it, actually, as long as we can get out of there fast enough, because, uh... There's so many fucking red hearts. Oh, no. Or, oh, yes. Now we can't justify it, but there's so many fucking red hearts on that... Judgment that I wanted to play. I know we should get HP, but at the same time, I just want to live a little, you know? Yeah, that's good. Why do you have to be like this game? We could make such beautiful music together. And you've decided to stab me in the back. We could die here. I think I might welcome it. <laughs> it's not a position that you want to find yourself in. Thank you, uh, High Priestess. Not High Priestess, Placenta. Although you ruined our Whore of Babylon action there, still. Alright, well. Now it's ruined even further, but maybe in a good way? Please. This is the moment. These have got to be good. They don't, I mean, they literally don't have to be, but please. Oh, golden keys. Judas's tongue? I mean, it's probably better than Bible Tract. This is torture, man. I don't support this at all. Where's our secret room? Look at this shit. So we're gonna have one cent to use on this fucking asshole. Where are we even gonna put this? Uh, you know what? You know what? You did it! Have a round of applause, everybody, for the asshole who milked me for like $22 or 22 cents here, but it felt like $22. And they can't even get any extra coins in here. You did it, Judgment. You broke my faith in the game. Round of applause. Round o fucking applause. I'm losing it. I'm losing my touch. These past couple of runs have not been... They have, I haven't done what I needed to do. We got 4 HP. Oh, we have Mom's Purse, so... Right, I forgot that we bought that when we meant to buy literally anything else. So, we'll get uh, two of spades active already, just so we can get our, you know, 12th key. I don't want to do big rooms. We're, again, we're on the clock. We're, 
You know, they say stress is like the number one fucking killer, man. This whole run is just stress. Normally in Isaac, you start out, it's risky. You get some items, it becomes less risky. You get to the end game, it becomes more risky. On this run, we've never exited that opening period of fear. Mixed in with a health, healthy dose of frustration has made for not the most amazing run of my life here. Thank you, Leech. Leech is doing a pretty good job of, uh, of helping me out here, picking up the stragglers on this room. I appreciate it. Not a good bomb. Gotta take like a bigger loop if we're gonna make that. Ah! I forgot these like golden ones are so fucking fast. Guys, I'm I'm tapping out. I'm not actually tapping out. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to fight, but I'm so fucking done with this run. Give me something. I'm getting into full blown Mathis rage territory here. That's not where I like to be. Well, I think we're at full health now. Close to it at least. I hate this room. You can tell I've, I start getting frustrated with a run when I, uh... Leech, what are you doing? When I start using bombs against, like, basic enemies. Leech, are you okay? Do I need to call the doctor? Oh, my Lanta. If you don't want me to have a streak game, you can just say so. You can just tell me to fuck off, record something else for today. Not that I'm blaming the game. A lot of this is my own fault. I know there's a big room over here. Hopefully we can get another charge back, or hopefully it's just, uh, you know, empty. It does happen. Kind of wishful thinking, but... Have we gotten a single damage up? We did get Synth Oil. We got Synth Oil. Northern Line, how can you complain? You got Synth Oil. You got Synth Oil, dog. What is that, like, .025 damage up? It's the equivalent of having, like, you know, an IOU and money equals power. Yeah, spiders, don't go after this guy in the ooze. Just, like, be a little... A little too easy for me. This is it right here. The, my confidence and morale lives and dies with this item room. Happy, happy thoughts. Run's not over yet. How can we simultaneously have shit HP and shit damage? It's not supposed to work that way. We got shit everything! We got shit luck, we got shit range, we got shit tears. I'm not even like seeing the bullets anymore. My brain is completely shut off from the bullets. It doesn't see them as an enemy anymore. Look, there's a lot of good stuff going on in this room. I would love to... I would love to pick up a variety of these uh, wonderful items. One of these wonderful things that the room has for sale. Humbling Bundle. That seems nice. Ooh, we should invite Humbling Bundle over for dinner sometime. But first, I gotta take care of me, man. I bought the Spirit Heart to give us the slightest chance of getting through this Devil Room. Getting to this Devil Room. Getting into this Devil Room. Trading all of our HP away for a fucking ghost baby. I need the damage. Headless Horseman. Oh. Oh. I'm just gonna go down to the next floor. This floor is it now. There are many items in the game for which you only need one of them to win. Brimstone, Mom's Knife, Death's Touch Helps, Epic Fetus, Ipecac. All we need to do is get one of these magical, mystical, ugh, wonderful items. That damage, normally I take full blame for damage. That damage I'm going to put on the game. I'm doing no damage, and at the same time, that enemy was sucking me in. Couldn't get away. Sorry, we took out one. Life gets easier now. Thank you, Mom's Wig. Oh, Leech, you're not strong enough to kill these guys? You're breaking my heart here, buddy. Look at this. This is the Necropolis 2. This is where we are. 
This is our damage on Necropolis 2. What can I say? What, what can I, fuck what can I say? What can I do? Leech, what are you doing? Oh my god. I'm out. Goodbye, Rebirth. It's been fun. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm not actually going to quit playing the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. It's a great game. I'm just extremely frustrated with it right now. Part of it's my own fault. At the same time, it's it's amazing to imagine how differently this could have gone if we had just gotten a single spirit heart on our like one of our first two floors. And yet still, largely because I skipped a lot of stuff on the last area, we are actually we're at the point where we're using holy water effectively. Take a second to ponder that. Don't ever fucking talk to me about this Yara rune. <laughs> I'm not be, I'm not trying to be rude to you, game. I'm taking it or uh, viewers. I'm taking it out on the viewers. I should be taking it out on the game. This Yara rune is amazing, but we need to make it to the chest. If we make it to the chest, I will sing the praises of this Yara rune. I will sign up for the company newsletter. All sorts of of grand desires that are extremely unlikely to happen. However, our odds of uh, making it to the chest are, are very bad. Very bad indeed. Leech, I don't want your HP. Let me let me die in Horde Babylon State. Let me die a warrior's death. Two keys. <sighs> I Look, I don't love the idea of doing that, but I also don't love the idea of dying on that room, so... Bit of a crapshoot, really. If we can persevere through this, we can win any run that Rebirth throws at us. This is like a purist challenge, minus the fact that we have to get further than Mom. A spirit heart? Maggie's bow is like the first pickup I've gotten. Where I've been like, you know what? This game wants to play. Nice. It's not even that good. And it's going to make it even harder to stay in our Whore of Babylon state. But at least it's it's something. It's it's a sign of goodwill from the game. This is like we're having some nuclear disarmament talks. And it's finally come to the table with like a realistic proposition. Instead of just like, fuck you American pigs. Now. We're going to keep moving on here. What am I, What am I hoping for? Shit, dude. Basically nothing. I don't even care about going to our shop, to be honest with you. I just want to get a full Krampus's head charge. Thank you, Leech. I've had one damage upgrade the whole fucking run. Taking red heart damage on every floor, except one. The one floor we didn't take red heart damage on, we got Krampus's head. Which, you know, if you're only going to get one item, Krampus's head is up there. It's helpful. It's not what we needed, but it it's not terrible. Figured, you know. Save one bomb. Oh, oh, sweet baby Jane. Help me. Help me. Give me Guppy's Paw. Guppy's Paw turns the whole run around. Store credit. Oh, now we gotta find our shop. Ringworm! Well, enjoy this brief glimpse into what this run could have been if I had not fucked up our first deal with the devil. I hope you recognize, by the way, hope, I hope many people recognize, that my, um, my anger is a little bit of a farce. I'm frustrated with this run. I'm still a very happy person. I'm happy to be playing video games right now. And if my attitude strikes you the wrong way, then I apologize. But it's also just kind of a joke. I realized that I used Krampus' head there. I hate that room. Maybe I should have taken the pony. I had the ability to fly. would have made that room a little easier. Leech, I need you to get about eight times taller and actually start wrecking shit. Like, right now. We have to go starter deck. Two of hearts, huh? Uh, we have to get this. I think we have to get this. I think we might as well get this, and then get ready to double it on that Demon Judgment. We're never going to stay in our Horror Babylon stage short of a Guppy's Paw, though, because of the placenta. 
gimpy. It's not really what I was looking for, to be honest with you. Uh, but I can't argue that this floor has put us in a better position. You're not wrong. Starter deck means no bad pills. Bad tarot cards instead. Why stand right next to the exploding rock? That's a good point, now that I think about it. As you can see, every time Mom's foot uh, touches the ground, doing about 1% of her max HP. Spiders up that a little bit. They, they take it to about 2.5% of her max HP, so that's pretty encouraging. At that rate, I, I uh, estimate that we'll be done this fight half past uh, fucking February never. Almost got me there. The boredom is setting in, and uh, I can feel my eyelids turning in on themselves. Somehow didn't take damage there. Probably should have. We're almost done with this fight. Please, free me. Oh my god. No deal with the devil. Let's be honest, what did I expect? Down to the next floor. And let's begin the song and dance anew. Oh! I don't die. Right, let's just not take spirit art, or let's not take red heart damage on this floor. I'm gonna do my best not to take red heart damage on this floor, despite the fact that it takes me five hits to kill even the most basic enemy. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I took damage. The end. What I'm trying to get at is, fuck this. You know, like, just fuck this, man. Why do we even, what are we doing with our lives here, you know? Oh my god, put me in the Whore of Babylon state. Dip me in chocolate milk and call me a Nick Pringle. That's all I'm saying. I'm relishing the damage that we're taking here. Hurt me more. You're actually not supposed to be able to squeeze through there. Now I actually feel terrible. Not, not deliberately trying to lose the run, okay? I was just trying to pick up some damage. I'm sure Leech will, uh, will hook me up here anyway. What's even the point anymore, man? Time is a flat circle. Well, there's a HP for us. Which means we won't be doing any damage ever again, so we might as well pick up this HP too. In all honesty, all we need to do is make it down to the chest. This Yera rune and our amount of keys give us a good chance of success if we do that. But fuck if it's not the most annoying shit in the world in the meantime. I have I have lost the will to win. But I can get it back. I mean that sincerely. It's just it's not necessarily just that this run is bad. It's that we had the Oh, there's a tinted rock here. It's that we had the exact same problem. Get out of here. Get out get out of here. It's that we had the exact same problem on our last run. Where we just picked up like no damage. And even in the late game when we got some damage, it was too little too late, you know? I was hoping, I was like, well, if we start another run, what are the odds that it'll be bad? Better than I, oh my god, better than I thought, apparently. I should have gone back for a Bible tract. Didn't, I forgot that we had Mom's Purse, because uh, we got rid of, um, what did we get rid of? Store credit, yeah, when we, when we paid for something, we got rid of store credit. There is still a very, you know, like a one in three chance we get a deal with the devil on this boss fight, and we, we were lucky enough to find it early. Look, I'll give credit where credit is due. Thanks for hooking me up with an early boss fight game. I appreciate that. I do not appreciate that. Why have all of our fucking tinted rocks paid out with golden chests that have nothing of value in them? Are you fucking with me? Leech. Leech, thank you. I can wait. I mean, hopefully not forever. Well, thank God we didn't get our keep of meat action happening on this run because we would have been disappointed. What do you think, guys? Conquest? This is what made it work on the last run. Fuck. <laughs> oh, Curse of the Blind. Oh, it doesn't matter. We don't get items on this run anyway. It's not necessary. Hey, Gimpy. Thanks a lot. You know, I did do that on purpose, I'll admit. I wanted to get to the Horror of Babylon state. Leech will probably make it so that we can't stay there for very long, but just even like a, a small taste of high damage, not even high damage, but like 
This is the same damage we'd be doing on the third floor if we had picked up Horror of Babylon. Um, but just a brief taste of damage in general, you know? Reminds me of what we're fighting for here. It's a morale booster. Not a morale booster, that's like a fucking mushroom rocket. The despair is real. Despair in my voice is genuine. Oh, please fuck. Let me reroll the whole run. I would... This is... It's 17 again, starring Matthew Perry. Let me reroll the whole run. Save me from myself. Soy milk, Dr. Fetus. I don't give a shit. Let me do it. I wanna... I wanna be Cocoon! I wanna be Cocoon! Making the hottest Cocoon references here. Oh, you bitch. How did we, like, we gained HP on this room. How do we gain HP? We never lose HP. Don't forget, you're here forever. Oh my god, we only have two fucking bombs. There's just, like, there's no way out of it. Hell in a fucking cell, loving an elevator. Living it up while we're going all the way fucking down here. Jesus Christ. We gain, all we do is gain HP. We can walk into the center of this room and just like shit all over these enemies and they'll or th let them shit all over us and then we'll still somehow coming out of this room with like probably a few extra spirit hearts. I guess I shouldn't be complaining in the whole scheme of things, but this this run is is a Sisyphusian task. Just fucking pushing the boulder up the hill. Now we're th now we're throwing ourselves off the hill and getting crushed under the boulder and finding out we get getting Bill Murray and Groundhog Day right back to the start every time. What's going on here? There's one more of you. Where? Hey, there we go. Where you at? Come on. We did it? We did it. Oh, Christ. Oh, you're still alive? I did not expect that. Am I, should I be surprised at this point that you paid out with nothing? That's what this whole run is to me. Nothing. I, the reason, I, I know why we're getting so much HP, by the way. Leech combined with um, Maggie's bow. Basically, you know, collaborating to make me unkillable. Putting me on life support here against my wishes. Free me. Kill me. Okay, this guy next. Thank you. The sad, fucked up part of this is that there's actually like a decent chance we make it to the chest. And at this point, with my attitude, mister, I don't think I deserve to make it to the chest. But, I may do it regardless. Just want to be safe with this, okay. I know we got this uh, gentleman over here. I want to play him as well, don't get me wrong. You're just gonna give me HP. You might as well just do it now. Yep. Okay. Let's do this shit, mister. You can do like a little loop around him. Makes your life a little easier. Oh, tarot card, huh? Oh, I like you. I like you again. This is, yeah, get ready to get out of there, though. Oh! Speedball? That's your master fucking plan? Speedball? And now I'm out of bombs, and there's a Tinted Rock here. I know what you're thinking, but Northern Lion, there haven't been any Tinted Rocks that actually paid out with Spirit Hearts. Now that I think about it, you're correct. Are you... If I could fly, I would put... Well, I guess these guys can still hit you if you can fly, but I would put myself on top of one of these rocks and go... Fuck myself in the other room, as we wait here for Double Envy to die. This is not, there's like some truths in life, you know? One one thing in life that you know it's a tragedy is if you can't kill Super Envy. Or uh, two Envies, I guess I should say, by the womb too. Look at these stats. Look at these fucking stats. Four speed, six range, two damage. These are like the starting stats of your worst Eden run ever. 
And this is what we're rolling with. But Northern Line, you have Leech. Yo, fuck your Leech, man! The only Leech I care about right now is Brian Leech. Is this Brian Leech? Best defenseman in New York Rangers history? I don't think it is. It's shitty shit Leech that heals me when I just want to be freed from this mortal coil. But yet, it's actually going to give me the worst win of all time, and I don't even want it. People are going to be mad at me even if I do win. Say, hey, why you got the bad attitude, mister? This is why I got the bad attitude. I'm having, you know, a 90-minute Isaac run, but unlike, you know, Bisnap Cobalt Streak, my run's just going to be me shitting myself while the leech does all the damage. That would, oh, don't even. Don't get any ideas, game. If you give me Nod, if we live to the chest, and you give me Nod fucking Leaf and nothing else, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take myself out. And I kick this in the wrong direction to even get the Tinted Rock. Fuck everything. Oh, this room is actually like... We're, we're encountering enemies I can deal damage to. It's the greatest feeling of all time. You know the uplifting feeling you get when the chorus of the Circle of Life lifts off? That's where we are right now. This is 36 minutes deep, and it's only getting slower. Normally at this point, you know... 36 minutes deep, you're like, oh, we've been taking a long time, but then we got Brimstone, so it's all forgiven. This is not that kind of run. This is 36 minutes deep, and, you know, well, it's like Steve Harwell said, right? It's a cool day. They say it gets colder. Bundled up now. Wait till you get older. He was speaking literally. You will be older by the time this run finishes. Your kids will have finished graduating college. If the graduation started like an hour ago. I beg of you. Save me from yourself. Oh, oh my god. Knock, knock. Oh. <laughs> you think it's really fucking funny, don't you? Alright, here we go. Alright, Leech. Your time has come. I know we could go back with our bomb and get that Tinted Rock. What, do I, do I look like I love Golden Chess? Leech, would it fucking kill you to get in there? Like, if you're gonna piss me off, you might as well, like, keep me alive while you're pissing me off, you know? At least Gimpy is quiet about its, you know, greatness. You're always talking about it non- What the heck happened there? You're always talking about it non-stop. Spiders are getting in there. Mom's wig's doing its part. There go our spirit hearts, but, you know, easy come, easy go, I suppose. This is the worst run that has ever made it this far. Up to the cathedral. Yeehaw! Here we go, guys. All we gotta do is make it to the chest. And I can win this run against my against my will. Why use the stars card? It's one of the few things I've still got like some tactical hope left in my body. I was like, this could take us closer to the boss room. Does it? Maybe it takes us further away. I might not have gone in this direction to begin with, but it might work. And I'm willing to pull out all the stops to, to give it a try here. Oh my god, Monstro 2. All this makes me think of is the fact that at some point there will be two Monstro 2s to fight. And I am gonna spend a hundred years bitching and moaning. Remember the old Northern Lion? Remember the Northern Lion that, you know, he'd crack jokes? I'm hoping that my despair is as entertaining to you as my, uh, as my uh, irreverence. Because right now, that's all I got, man. I, I'm I'm rolling a d20 up for despair, and I'm coming up deuces. Not deuces. That would be like 12. It's not the same. We're we're gaining so much HP. Did we pick up placenta as well? Is it impossible for us to die? Should I just give up? <laughs> you don't expect to hear that on Isaac Rudd. Is it impossible for us to die? Should I just give up? Is this a Nick Seed? Did I accidentally end up playing a Nick Seed here? Nick, I need you to break your curse on Isaac so Isaac will be kind to me. It's it's like the ring. It's starting to reflect, uh, you know, infect other people's lives. You gotta break the curse, return the slab, and all that shit. I did it. I can't even. I can't continue with this. What is this cruel punishment? Is the universe trying to tell me something and it's using Isaac as a conduit? Fuck me. And we gained HP. That's the the most beautiful part of that whole extravaganza right there is we just gained HP. 
You know there is like a le legitimate, literal chance that we just won't get damage ups on the chest, right? Like, you know that that's a possibility. Have you prepared yourself for what happens? Have you gotten a snack? Go out to the fucking grocery store! It's still January, but I can't promise, you know, that February won't have an earthquake or something like that. You never know, you might as well stack up on supplies before the grocery store closes. Yeah, oh, oh, I got hit. Oh no. You don't... What, there's... When a man is not afraid of death, what more can you do to him, Isaac? If you had... If you gave me something to lose, then maybe I'd be scared on this run, but you gave me nothing to lose. Yeah, you know. When you ain't got nothing, you got nothing to lose. As you're doing no more damage to the sloths, you can see... How long will it be? This is, um, that's my impression of Like a Rolling Stone by Bob Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Anyway. It's a multi-layered bullshit reference there. Hey, thanks for Bob's Rotten Head. You're too good to me. A curse room. Oh my god. Don't, don't fuck with me. Not this room. Not this room with no bombs. Oh. Leech. I, I can't do it, guys. <laughs> I just want to end it. I can't. I can't do it. Leech isn't even going to do anything. It's not even a good item. At least if we had Nod Leaf, I could go, like, for a joke, I could go to the kitchen, you know, grab a snack or something like that. What are you doing to me? I need entertainment. Do we have any chores that I could do? Maybe I could like do the dishes while this room finishes. In all of the 200 and whatever episodes that I've done of Rebirth, this is the worst by every measure. I sound like a fucking asshole. I shoot like an asshole. I waste all my bombs like an asshole. I get the, mo the rooms that are full of the most assholes. And I'm taking up too much of your day like an asshole. This is just the the run is just the asshole of Isaac right now. This this is the position that I'm in on this run is I actually thought to myself, "Oh good, dead birds here. Now the room will finish twice as fast." Dead birds here. Now the room will finish twice as fast. Dead bird, the item where everyone goes, hey, you know, Revenge Fly is not a 10 out of 10, but at least it's not dead bird. That's our ace in the hole. Stop or I'll shoot. And if I shoot you 100 times and you don't die, I might sick dead bird on you. Is, is Super Envy dead? Look at this, I'm actually happy with dead bird's damage. I think dead bird is taking pity on me, and it is now saying, hey, you're doing a, you know, Bang up job of staying alive here, kid. I don't know why it's calling me kid. That's a weird thing. Should just be saying, Caw -caw! Hmm. That was more like a Yoda at the end, but there was a bird in there at some point. If I'm a bird, you're a bird. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Let me die. Let me die, Leech. It keeps giving me HP. I don't want it. I don't want your- I don't want your handouts, man! I'm gonna go to this curse room in an attempt to pick up something to make this easier. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't- Oh! Mama just killed a man. Gonna test the length of room. Put it against this song to see. Which one is a longer? I've got to know. Cause otherwise I'll go crazy on this run. I'm not a good singer. Oh no, damage. Oh no, damage. Oh fuck, you're gonna keep me alive. Mama. An empty room? That's so nice relative to what we just went through. Oh, yes. I should have been thankful for the black hearts because they made it so I could actually deal damage to multiple enemies simultaneously. Are you ready for this bullshit chicken shit Isaac fight that's about to happen? I hope you're ready for it. Cuz the Isaac fight is the one where I actually have to try. Cuz if I can keep myself alive, look at how much HP we gain so quickly. We're like nearly at full HP. 
If I if this is the wrong way, I don't even want to talk to anyone for the rest of the day. It's ruined it. The day is ruined for me. Please, 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 God. Thank you. It takes me like seven shots to kill these fuckers. Seven shots? Oh, we did it. We made it. Think of all the runs where I have been doing crazy damage. Yeah, give me some HP. Think of all the runs where I've been doing crazy damage, but would give my left testicle for the ability to have some HP. This is the antithesis of that, and I hate everything about it. I would give up, like, all of our HP generation to pick up small fucking rock. Just help me. Give me some hope. Make the day-to-day -day moments of my life more enjoyable. Make it so my work day feels like a twerk day, you know? Makes it feel like my birthday. This is for you, Leech. Oh, don't ever touch me. Leech? Leech? Yeah, give me some HP, dog. I can wait. There we go. I can't believe this shit, to be honest with you. Well, that was our ace in the hole, so prepare yourself for um, about a hundred years of disaster here. Probably the best thing that I can do is just hide in the corner and just let Leech do its thing. That makes me feel pretty sad. Dead birds helping out. I'm, just, I'm a spectator on my own run. Thank you, Gimpy. I actually appreciate that a great deal. Or Babylon State's coming. Don't let this room do it. Don't let this room do it. That'll give me one full heart. We just gotta wait for the center of the room to clear out a little bit. We're gonna fucking live to the chest. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm, but I'm not mad anymore. I'm actually very happy that it's gonna happen, but... I'm most... I'm, I'm incredulous. Let's leave it at that. How... The boss is moving towards you. Feel free to go aggro him. Gimpy, Gimpy, Gimpy. Nope, okay. Gotta not get hit now. Because Leech... In a way, I appreciate it, you know? Leech and Dead Bird gave up. They wanted to make sure that I... I had to win this run for myself. Are you seeing this damage with Horror of Babylon? We got some weapons of mass destruction here at our disposal. We're so close to the moment of redemption. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Would it, like, straight up actually kill you, dead bird? Leech? Probably another couple of those and we'll be fine, but... Oh! Dead bird! Got a live one! <gasps> oh, he ran right into me! Fuck that run. Thanks for watching. You have more patience than I do. I'll see you next time.